We're lucky enough that uh, Jacob in New Jersey, whose pronouns are he, him, is calling in to like to try to prove Islam is the one true religion. So welcome, Jacob. How are you? All right, thanks. Uh, I first would like to say I don't think apostate prophet is a good addition to the show. Okay. Well, I, 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 hang on. Um, I'm going to respond to your feedback. So apostate prophet here is, is here is my guest. Um, we've been on for 44 minutes or so. Um, and, and thank you for telling me that you don't think he's a good guest, but could I ask you why you don't think he's a good addition to the show? I will. And I'll, I'll do it respectively too. First of all, he breaks one of your rules that you have. He attacks people. He does not attack ideas. You can check of his uh, older videos if you don't believe me. And second of all, he does not even have a fundamental understanding of Islam. So he's not equipped to even debate Muslims. He got beat okay. already a few debates. Ali Dawah, Muhammad Hijab, you can look those up. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, um, I, I'm going to let you try and prove Islam here in just a second. But... Uh, first of all, there's no rule about not attacking people and, and attacking ideas. It's a general guideline, and all of us have failed it at some point. And it's it's, it's likely that I'm going to call somebody stupid or an idiot or something at some point, which would be attacking a person. Um, but I don't need to go back through AP's uh, content. But if you think that he doesn't know enough about Islam, wouldn't that mean he'd be a really good addition to the show? Because it would be very easy for you then to prove that he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about which would mean that um, you, your side would, would benefit from me putting uh, a former Muslim on the show who's just evidently, according to you, a big old idiot. I mean, I just want to say uh, very quickly, um, uh, Jacob, uh, you have come here to say that I'm not a good addition to the show and that I uh, attack people and that I know nothing. And you have done all of that by simply coming on here and attacking me personally and making allegations about how I'm uh, a failure. So I find that whole approach very, very ironic. But you want to prove to us that uh, Islam is the truth. So why why don't you just go ahead and focus on that instead of... Let's do that. And I'm going to do my best to, to just kind of stay out of it unless I need to come in to to keep the peace listen uh, ap i have not attacked you personally i don't care to know you personally i've only said no that that's not true fundamental understanding of islam that is basically play false everyone sees that but why don't we I, just i muted jacob i muted jacob for just a minute jacob i'm going to unmute you and when i do i'd like you to have a conversation with ap um but uh, let's just set aside this thing because you just fucking lied when you call in to say that someone isn't a good addition to the show and that they don't know stuff, you are attacking that person and their character and what they've done. And so it's fair to point out that you are, in fact, now you're not just simply name calling, but you are attacking that person. But let's skip all of that and get to you proving the truth of Islam, because wouldn't that be the thing that benefits all of us? If you were able to prove Islam, then the atheist experience is dead and we, you know, we'd all be on the same side. So let's do that. Okay. Apostate Prophet, can I ask you a quick question? Your name is Apostate Prophet, and you used to be Muslim. Tell me the most significant prof prophetic prophecy that the Prophet Muhammad predicted. A every Muslim knows that. What's the most significant uh, prophecy he pre predicted? I don't know why you're asking me questions. You're here to, uh, you hint. to I'll prove. Give you a hint. I'll give you a Okay, please, please, J Jacob. Uh, no, please, no, no, hang let's, on. Let's, let's uh, calm down. Let's hang calm on. Down. I'm, I'm going to mute you again for a second, Jacob. I'm going to unmute you again. Um, <laughs> I, I want you to understand this because I'm trying to be uh, as absolutely kind and bend over backwards as I can be about this. I'm trying to follow my policy of giving you 30 seconds and then additional time provided you're doing a good job. But if I say it's time for you to make a case for why Islam is the one true religion, and then you spend your opening 30 seconds quizzing AP on what he does and doesn't know, let me ask you this. And when you answer this question, understand that how you answer this question determines if you get to keep speaking at all. So here's the question. I'm going to do this very clearly. Does whether or not apostate prophet answers your question correctly have anything to do at all with whether or not islam is the one true religion what's the answer yes it does because no it doesn't goodbye you're done <laughs>
<laughs> what any one individual i really wish that you weren't so awful because we were really looking forward to someone to come in and defend islam but when you are too stupid to realize that i'm throwing you the easiest bone you can ever grab to get you off of the path which is you just called in to talk shit at apostate prophet and for that you can go fuck yourself because no, what any one person believes about a religion is completely irrelevant to whether or not that religion is true. Now, you have some kind of bone to pick uh, with AP. That's not what this show is for. If you want to demonstrate the truth of Islam, call in, make your argument, and provide your evidence. It's really easy, or should be, uh, to not come in here and say, oh, well, I got a problem with AP and that's the reason why Islam is the one true religion. That's a logical fallacy and a half. And, uh, and I just I just want to say very quickly, Matt, if you, uh, if, if, I, please. if I may, um, a, a, a representative of the Islamic religion who wants to defend Islam may come on here and, uh, you know, try to do that. But the, the, the issue is, um, as said, attacking me personally will not help them in any it will make things only worse. It will introduce people to Islamic apologetics in a very negative way. People will get a very unpleasant taste of Islamic apologetics if the Muslim apologists come on here and act in such a in such a hostile way outright that they directly attack uh, the person and the character in question. Yeah. Uh, secondly, coming here and attacking me is not going to prove anything. Even if you prove that I'm completely ignorant about Islam, that would not make Islam any, uh, false or true in any way as Matt already pointed out uh, similarly me going and you know disproving Muslim apologists will not make Islam false or true right we are simply exchanging ideas and you are then left to take the information that we uh, talk about and to make certain judgments about those so please if you want to come on here and to make the claim that Islam is the truth you should know I'm doing this for you. I have no problem. You can come here and attack me. You can insult me all you want, but that's not in your favor. It will only make your religion worse. If you want to come on here and do something good for your religion, please come and focus on proving Islam true. Please. Thank you. We have nine people on hold, and some of them want to talk about Christianity. Some of them want to talk about Islam. Some of them will have questions about science or morality. It is absolutely disrespectful to all those other people for us to spend so much time dealing with someone who clearly just wanted to come in and talk trash about how apostate prophet isn't a good ex-Muslim or a true ex-Muslim or doesn't know. I don't care. I don't give a, a, a crap if AP is a complete fraud who knows nothing. It's irrelevant to whether or not Islam is the one true religion. And if, if you don't understand the how and why of that, I don't know too many other ways to explain it to you. But if you would like to do the right thing, and call in to provide evidence for your religion, including Islam, then don't be cowardly and don't be attacking a person when that's irrelevant to the point. And if I pause to give you a chance to like, let's restart this conversation, for fuck's sake, take it. I'm throwing you a bone. And yet you just couldn't do it. But sadly.